Hi everyone, Mike here from Bikes by Mike with another cycling related video. So I'm still recovering from a number of broken bones, but I found yet another topic I can cover that requires very little movement of this part. Excellent. Okay, let's get to it. Today it's all about cycling clothing. Specifically, what, in my opinion, is the best cycling clothing brand on the market today? Now, it probably would be better to select the best brand from each category of cycling accessory because nobody is perfect at everything, but that would take forever and I'd run out of space on my camera's memory card. So let's not do that. I'll choose my favorite brands focusing on the quality and performance of their jerseys and bib shorts. I'm choosing those two pieces of kit because for most of us, they form the core of our cycling wardrobe. I have to mention that I'm only looking at premium clothing, not mid-range or budget items. I buy those as well, but generally for less important or less visible apparel like arm warmers, shoe covers, and base layers. Premium is a loose term in the bike industry, and while the cut, construction, and aesthetics do contribute to the premium distinction, it's the quality of the fabric that I think is most important. This will be the biggest factor when it comes to how well the kit feels and how well it performs on the road or on trails. Also, most of the brands carry several lines at different price points, so I'm only considering their top tier in making my decision. Those are also items that I have the most of. Now, I'm not going to go super technical on how I'll evaluate the different brands, because in the end, this is really subjective. But there are a few criteria that need to be called out, because if my selection criteria doesn't speak to you, my recommendations won't mean much. And if that's the case, well, sorry about that. First, all premium clothing is expensive, so unless the price is weight of whack to that of its competitors, price didn't impact my decision. Second is aesthetics. For most brands pushing the premium line, this is probably what they rely on the most to market their clothing. Third is quality of construction and fit. This is also heavily marketed by the various brands. How the pieces design, tailored, and even how they stitch or seam the pieces of fabric together has a huge impact on how good the kit feels and how well it performs. There's no better example of this than bib shorts. The difference between budget shorts and a premium bib short is like night and day. Premium shorts are just way more comfortable, especially on long rides. And this has a lot to do with how they are constructed. The quality of the chamois is important, but more so the design and its placement. A telltale sign of cheap shorts is that they will be constructed with many individual panels. You'll notice that premium shorts will use as little as one seam, while budget shorts could use as many as eight or more panels. You see, if you're using cheap fabric, the manufacturer has to use more panels. Otherwise, the fabric will buckle and bunch up and generally not fit or perform well. The problem with this is that the more panels you have, the more seams you have. And the extra seams just creates more opportunity for skin irritation. The fourth consideration is performance. Here I'm talking about how well the piece performs in the conditions it was designed for. So for me, I tend to get really warm when I cycle. Plus, Toronto summers are just like super hot and humid, which makes it worse for me. So a lot of kits I buy are hot weather kits. If I'm looking at a kit marketed for hot summers, I'll judge it by how well it performs in hot weather. So those are the considerations that went into my decision for the best overall premium cycling brand. Of course, I can't judge something unless I've tried it, so I should at least let you know which brands I've used over the years that weighed into my decision. Ale, Asos, Attacker, Café de Cycliste, Campanolo, Capo, Castelli, Garneau, Giordana, Giro, Hincapi, Lacal, Map, Nalini, Perizumi, Pedla, Pac, Rafa, Santini, and Sportful. So a lot of brands that I still need to try, but a lot of good ones in this list already. Now, before I tell you my pick for the best brand, let me call out a couple well-known premium brands that I do like a lot that didn't take the top spot, but they still deserve attention. The case could be made that Asos produces the best made cycling pair of any brand, simply top-notch stuff from this Swiss company. And while I have bought a number of Asos pieces in the past, you pay a heavy price for them even when compared to other premium brands. And for me, I find their style a bit on the boring side, and that's coming from a guy that isn't overly adventurous. Attacker is an Australian company that puts out some pretty cool designs. And their clothing doesn't just look good, but it's well made. 
My only complaint is that when I purchased my kit a couple years ago, they didn't have any lightweight aero kits. And I found that the all day outliner jersey and all day bib shorts, too warm for most of my summer rides. Good to know that they now offer a few options for super lightweight kits. And with that in mind, I'm sure they'll compete for top spot the next time I do a review. Café de Cyclis, Lacole, Map, and Pock all produce quality pieces. And while I really like some of their designs, especially Map, I just don't think the fit and performance quite measures up to the top pick. My last mention, which has to be mentioned, is of course, Rafa. Probably the most premium brand you'll see on the road, which is one of the reasons it didn't make my top pick. Yeah, points go to boutique brands. I was really into them when they came out in 2004, but now they've oversaturated the market in my opinion. Also, their styling really hasn't changed in the past 18 years, and they're doing what most other premium cycling companies are doing today, producing simple, solid color kit designs. Boring. That said, the quality of their top tier line is still one of the best, or the best, next to my top pick. Okay, finally, my top pick for the best premium cycling brand is, ready for it, Pedla. If you haven't heard of them, it makes it even more of my top pick. What I have here is their local loop cycling club kit, which unfortunately is no longer offered in this style. A shame because I really, really like it. The jersey is made of quality Italian microfiber fabrics, extremely comfortable, very lightweight, and basically feels like a second skin like no other kit. The fabric whisks wet away very well and stays comfortable in doing so. They use mostly normal seams in the construction, but a few flat lock seams as well. You don't notice or feel them either. None of them. Anywhere. It's that comfortable. The silicone waist grippers work very well. The bib shorts are perfect. Outright the most comfortable and best fitting bib shorts I've used. Very lightweight and breathable. It feels like a second skin more so than any other kit. Even Rafa's Protein Bib Shorts 2, which I would say is my second best fitting short, doesn't quite have that second skin comfort like you find with Pedla. The seamless non-stitch cuff with the very wide silicone gripper makes for a really comfortable and aero fit. The chamois has plenty of padding but does not bunch up and is super comfortable even on rides over 5 hours long. If I didn't get bored wearing the same kit all the time, I'd simply wear this one on every road ride. It's that good. Before I go, I want to quickly mention the brands I like and I use regularly, but they're not quite at the upper tier premium level. But these brands also are not as expensive and offer exceptional value for money. The three standouts for me are LA, Castelli, and Sportful. I've bought several Castelli kits for mountain biking over the past couple years, and all of my winter fat biking kits are now LA and Sportful. Sportful winter jerseys and the lay thermal bib shorts in particular are extremely good quality and very reasonably priced. That's all I got for today, folks. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you're not a subscriber to the channel, please subscribe as allowed me to produce more content for all of you. See you next time. Happy rolling.